Well, look, if you don't mind, I might ask a few other questions, a little bit more some general questions as well. First of all, about the medication. Um, you're obviously on those two medications. Do you take any other tablets at all? Um, I take glucosamine for my for my joints, which are, so far seems to be working fine because they're not giving me any any trouble at all. And I have to take cod liver oil and, and uh, things like that for, for the joints and for hoping to keep colds at bay. Yeah. And I take uh, ginkgo for um, to help kind of keep the brain cells ticking okay. over. Yeah. Anything else at all? Is there anything else you get on prescription or that you buy over the counter at all? Um, I do have uh, Celis, I think it's called. It's um, um, an erectile dysfunction okay. A, which um, I don't use very often, um, but it's, it works. Okay. And are you happy with that one? It's, it's working yes, well? Yes. It's, it's yeah. not causing any difficulties at all? No, no difficulties I'm aware of. Then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I ask if you're allergic to anything as well? I suppose I need to know that. To not as far as I know, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, what do you do for a living? Are you working? Or are you no, I'm retired now. I used to be a pro programs manager for a computer firm. Okay, okay. And when did you retire? Seven years ago. Seven years retired ago. at 60, yes. Good. Good. Keeping busy in retirement? Oh, yes. We go to a lot of museums and galleries, and I've said the theatre and the cinema. Um, and I have a sort of part time job, which only happens in October and November. It's uh, delivering um, electoral forms for people to fill in, you know, okay. which is kind of. But I pay money and keeps me kind of walking in the streets, which I think is good. Isn't it? Uh, do your symptoms cause problems with that at all? I mean, I can well, indeed, it does. Trying to know where toilet toilets, toilets these days are yeah. not as frequent as they used to be, so I have to sort of slightly, slightly be aware of that. Yes, yeah. people do tend to plan where the public toilets are absolutely, and know where to go. Yes, absolutely, and know know which um, pub is. You know, right. doesn't mind me going in, but sure. you know, sure. just a glass of water and use the facilities. Uh, can I ask you if you smoke or drink? Uh, I have I smoked when I was at university, but that's a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I do drink, yeah. Okay. yeah. Can I ask how much uh, alcohol you drink? Well, um, we usually have a glass of wine with a meal, and if we decide not to, I usually have a gin and tonic. Um, uh, so I drink beer sometimes as well. Uh, and um, yeah, spirits occasionally at parties okay. and things, you know, Christmas and so on. Yeah. yeah. Do you find drinking alcohol affects your symptoms? Do you find it makes things worse? Well, I ease up on the beer now, I have to say. I tend to go for the wine and the um, gin and tonic, just to, you know, simply to um, ease the amount of going through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly alcohol can affect things, and then water works, as you may know. It, you know. Do you remember drinking pints of beer when you're younger? You do tend to go a lot more and come yes. up at night, as a yes. result. Well, I'm, I'm sort of a bit aware of that now. You sure. don't have um, too much to drink, but, but be it alcohol or not. I was going to, that was my next question actually, in terms of what else you drink. So, do you drink tea and coffee? I drink a lot of coffee, I have to yeah. say. I do drink a lot of coffee and I do have one after dinner most nights with every night. What time might that be? What time is your sort of last drink of the evening? Uh, the coffee will be about, say, 8 o'clock, say, if you're at home, yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, that would be the last drink of the yes. Yes, because we don't drink after dinner, you know, wine with the meal, but we don't drink after dinner. Okay. Now, just a little bit about your sort of past uh, medical problems that you might have had. Any major medical problems I, I need to know about? Well, um, I've had a few operations, the appendix. The, uh, Let me make a note, yeah. if you don't mind, yeah. there's a couple of things. Yeah. Oh, the sure. appendix, you said. Appendix, which was, um, oh, 30 years ago now. Okay. Yes. And I've had uh, two hernia operations, in green hernia. And the first one was gallstones as well. Okay. Right. Yeah. And and the, oh, I'm sorry, you carry on. Years and years ago, I had a sort of virus that they thought might be glandular fever. Okay. Maybe it wasn't that, I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, it's like glandular fever. Okay. Yeah. And that was, that was in the 70s. The hernia operations were in 1998, so the last one was just... Not long ago. Not long ago, yeah. And were they on different sides? The hernia's on yes, one on each side? side? Yes. Okay. Right. Any other medical problems? Any sort of... Oh, I had hepatitis oh. years ago, yes. Do we know what type that was? Did they ever explain what it was or where um, you got it from? No, they didn't actually. I now, now know there's all those A, Bs and Cs. And they may have told me that I may have forgotten, to be honest. Yeah. You said that was a little while ago, though, yes. and, and you've not had any problems since. No, it's not no, been a, an ongoing thing. In my, uh, just after university, I went travelling in South America and uh, I might have picked it up there. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Any um, heart problems at all no. or lung problems? Well, um, I don't know if it ran through, but my dad had uh, pancreatic cancer, okay. and um, it killed him when he was 65. Yeah. So that's sort of slightly in my mind. Sure. Um, 
you know, 30 years ago now, but uh, when I'm older than he was. Anything else? Uh, is, you, is your mother still alive? No, she's not, unfortunately, but um, she more or less, like I said, she more or less faded away. It's old age, really. Sure, sure. And brothers and sisters at all? No, I'm the only child. Yeah. Okay. And a little bit more specifically, was there any problems with prostate problems? I mean, did your dad have any prostate problems that you not know that of? that I can remember, no. Um, the first I knew that he had cancer was pancreatic cancer, and uh, it, it wasn't one of those things, oh, it spread all over him. It was just the pancreatic cancer. And, I suspect he didn't have a diagnosis at the time. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It wasn't good. Okay. Well, if you don't mind, what I might do is just move on to some general questions mm -hmm. about your health. Yeah. Um, they may, might not seem to you related to the problems you're experiencing, but a few little things I, I would like to ask, first of all. Um, some of them are yes, no answers, and I do apologise, but um, if I can just run through a few things with you. Um, do you ever get pains in your chest at all? No. Uh, difficulty with your breathing? Do you find you're getting breathless at any time? No. Okay. And during sleep, for example, do you wake up? Any problems with your breathing or discomfort in your chest? No, I wake up, as I've told you, but not, not but in not. breathing, no. Okay. Okay. Your ankles, do they ever swell up, have you noticed? No. Okay, okay. Are you someone who suffers with indigestion? Occasionally, okay. yes. And perhaps I should have told you I take the Arrhenny occasionally, yes. Um, and your bowels, have they been nice and regular, or have they yep. changed at all, have you noticed? No change. No change. Very good. We've talked about your appetite and weight already, uh, so I know how that's doing. Um, also, I suppose, you know, the other questions I'd like to ask are things like your mood and how you're feeling generally, and yourself. Um, well, uh, I am a bit worried about, about uh, this problem, um, and I think that is slightly affecting you, you and my attitude to life generally. Yeah. Uh, I've got couple of friends who, I've got a lot of friends who've got large prostates, but a couple of friends that have developed into cancer. Okay. And um, that's in the back of my mind, sure. certainly. And, uh, I've been told that I've been a bit grumpy prior to coming to this appointment, so I think I'm slightly, um, I am worried about that. Yeah, and that has affected my mood, certainly. Yeah, yeah. So are you quite concerned that prostate cancer is a possibility with you yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll certainly we'll talk a little bit about that later on, if that's okay. Um, was there anything else you thought it might be causing it or causing the symptoms to get worse? No. That was the main thing? That's the main thing. Okay. Well, I think what we might do next, if that's all right with you, uh, is actually we'll go next door, uh, we'll just do an examination, and I'll explain to you next door what we're going to do and how we do it. And then we'll come back in, we'll have a little bit of a chat, and talk about what to do next. Is that all right? That sounds fine, thank you. Okay.